have I been? I honestly had to think, like, is YouTube something I still want to do? Are you single? Hi. So, for anyone who watching this right now that's been a long time subscriber of this channel, um, you may have noticed that it's definitely been a hot minute since I've last posted something on here. For anyone who's in that group, you most likely surely have been wondering, where have I been? <laughs> and that is a very valid question because I basically disappeared from the internet. The last time I posted a video on here, I was still in high school. And I'm gonna be a sophomore in college in a few weeks, so that's how much time has passed for any retrospect. <laughs> but yeah, due to my disappearance from YouTube for a while, I figured why not make the first video back to this channel to explain why I kind of just left. But in the form of a Q&A. So it's time to take this handy dandy iPad and I'm going to answer a few of your guys' questions that you guys asked me through either YouTube or Instagram. By the way, I am actually more active on Instagram now compared to my YouTube, so if any of you guys still want to like see my life, um, Go follow my Instagram. But yeah, guys, today's topic of this video is basically a Q&A. So sit back, relax, and I'm gonna answer some important and random questions. So the first question is, where have I been? Because as I said, hot minute. So honestly, um, I need to put this down because we're about to get really real here. But yeah, the main reason why I left YouTube was because of burnout. Uh, making videos in a weekly basis was starting to literally not be fun anymore along with editing them. It was starting to feel like a chore, specifically unrewarding work. It, it wasn't getting good for my mental health. At one point, I was starting to dread needing to edit something because I was, I used to think like, well, man, like, it's so time consuming. Like I could use this time for like 10 other things right now. Like it was just not being fun as it used to anymore. Because when I started this channel, I, like I making videos and even editing them was something I would look forward to in my day. Like it would be something fun, exciting, like, and then like close to the end, like the last few videos I posted, it was just not, it was just not like that anymore. I'm pretty sure um, some long-term subscribers probably seen it coming because I did remember filming a channel update video and it did explain, like I did explain like um, feeling a little bit burnt out. So yeah, mainly the reason why I kind of like just disappeared was because I felt burnt out and I just needed a break. And the second reason I'd like to add on that contributed to my disappearance because while I was also feeling burnt out, around the time that I also left YouTube for a while was because of school. Because the last video I made, I was still a senior in high school. I was getting ready for college. Like, academically at that time, I just had a lot going on. Um, I still had to take the SAT. I had to make sure my grades were decent. So senior year, I had a lot going on and especially during the autumn and winter. Something else that also made me drag my attention away from YouTube was because I was also preparing for my debut. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know what a debut is, it's basically a big party that Filipino girls have when they turn 18. I am half Filipino. It was a very intense time because I was basically doing three extracurriculars at once, school, 
and even though I had a light schedule in senior year, it was still like a lot to manage that like I just, it was just really difficult and stressful to fit YouTube in. I do hope to make a video about my debut in um, the explaining like how I prepare for the debut do debut, my debut in the future, but uh, today's not the day for that. But yeah, during that period of time, a lot of changes in my life were happening. And I think in a way it was really good for me to step away from YouTube consistently because I feel like I've really changed a lot as a person in this past year alone and even senior year. I feel like I needed space away honestly just for me to grow and discover new interests. And not to mention, I also started college this year as well and that's also been a huge life adjustment for me. My priorities have honestly changed a little bit. Honestly, during that time when I was really self-reflecting, I honestly had to think like, is YouTube something I still want to do? Or is this like a just something that was just part of my childhood chapter? And uh, yeah, it was a lot of difficult questions I asked myself during this hiatus. There was a point where I thought I was going to be ditching Nicole Topics um, and just if just starting a new channel from scratch but um, I don't want to leave Nicole Topics it's just at the moment I'm not going to be consistent on here if anything the videos I'll post here will be in an unpredictable schedule and will be mainly because it's something I want to push out rather than I feel like I need to push it out, if that makes sense. It's just at the moment, I'm now enjoying some new things in life, focusing on other things in life, and YouTube is just not my number one in the priority list anymore like it used to be, and to me, that's not a bad thing. I still enjoy YouTube, it's just it's not going to be something I'm going to be emphasizing as heavily in my life, at least not in the moment anyways, because quite frankly, I still don't have time. <laughs> Especially once this college semester starts, because I'm a STEM major and uh, my classes, especially since the last semester have been extremely demanding. Um, I barely had a social life. So I'm just not really in the right place in my life right now to be consistent with YouTube at the moment. But uh, yeah, that's basically why I disappeared. So TLDR got burnt out and my interest for YouTube in general has faded and I've been exploring interests in other things and school. So yeah, don't plan on quitting though. Um, I'm gonna still be here, but just not as frequent anymore. Which leads to the second question, what does the future entail? So as I said in the first question, don't expect weekly videos anymore, but I will still, but if I'm ever in a mood to make a video and most importantly, edit the video, I will pump that out. And I also plan to separate skating content from this channel and just put all my skating content from now on to a skating related channel which is called Nicole Turns so I'll link it in the description below the hiatus, I still posted once in a while just not on this channel like I didn't fully leave the internet guys I was- I'm still here just in other places or, and not as frequent I also like posting TikToks so if you guys also want to check that out mainly skating TikToks you guys should also follow my TikTok, Nicole Skates. It has some cool content in my opinion. But yeah, the future mainly entails not consistently posted content, removing skating content from this channel, putting in a new channel. For the future of this channel specifically, I guess, besides like the different um, upload schedule, I will say the content I will be posting may be more for mature audiences. I'll make sure if it's really deep um, I'll put like trickle warnings in the beginning so that way you guys know what you're getting into because I also do plan in the future before 2024 to post some really deep videos I've been wanting to post for a long time now I just need to make sure I'm ready to film that video and in the, and in the mood to film that video because again, um, I don't want to post videos on this channel because I feel like I have to do it. I want to post it because I want to do it. So yeah. Following questions are more like fun, random questions and not as deep, but um, third question is, are you a model? No, unfortunately not. I've 
always found modeling pretty interesting and something I want to try but as of right now, I'm not a model. Maybe in the future though. Fourth question is also pretty interesting and is it, are you single? You guys. Hey guys, voice over me here. I decided to blur and mute that part of the video because I just blabbed way too much for that section. Basically what I'm trying to say here is I do not feel comfortable putting my romantic life out to public on the internet. Now, this is not me saying I am taken or have a boyfriend or whatever. It just means I just do not feel comfortable putting that kind of information out, whether I am single or taken or not. It's just a boundary for me, honestly. And if I do ever have a relationship, I do want to share that when my partner is also ready for that to be shared. So that's, that's how it is. Have you been eaten by pandas? Uh... I hope not, but if it happens, I'll make sure I post it on TikTok. And last question is, who's your crush in middle school? So honestly, I did not have a crush in middle school, mainly because a majority of people in my middle school honestly just did not like me. So that's definitely a factor on, on why, but also like, I just... Having crushes on people just never came easy to me. So, yeah, I had no crush in middle school. Like, romance was actually the last thing in my priority list in, in middle school. <laughs> Even in high school, honestly, like, I didn't have a crush in high school either. But yeah, guys, that is my Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope these questions, especially the first two, um, really gave you some satisfaction. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you whenever I choose to come back here. For any of my long-term subscribers, I just want to say thank you for being on the ride, and I've also noticed the growth in this channel as well as I was gone, which I want to say thank you guys for being supportive. But yeah, that's the video. Thank you. And cheerio.